Hello guys, it's Brian here from Qtro Technologies, and in today's video, I'll be showing you an ISP billing software that we've been working on. If you're watching this video a few days after we've launched the system, don't worry. This video is still perfect to help you navigate and understand how our platform works. The first thing we're going to do is sign in to our account. Right now, I'm going to start the web application on the server, since at the time of this recording, I hadn't yet uploaded the system online. Now that we are live, Instead of logging in, we'll register a new account. In our first step, we're going to enter our email address. In the next step, we'll fill in the company name, our name, phone number, and the country we're in. As we launch Qtro ISP Billing System 5 1.0, we're currently supporting countries in Eastern Africa. Please note, the company name should be unique, and the email used must also be unique, meaning no other account should have the same details. Moving on to step three, we're required to create a very strong password to secure our account. Make sure to follow the guidance we've provided regarding password strength. Also ensure you remember your password as you'll need it for logging in. On my side, I'm going to use demo1234. After account creation, you'll be redirected to this page, which says your account must be approved by the admin. This process usually takes up to 36 hours for approval. To verify this, let's try logging in. As you can see, we get a message saying we can't log in because the admin hasn't approved our account yet. For security reasons, we implemented this feature to ensure we know each and every user in the system. Since I'm the admin of the system, I'll now approve myself using a one-month subscription on my super admin dashboard that manages all my ISPs. Now, we can log in and access our dashboard. The dashboard looks really clean. You can choose between light mode and dark mode, but personally, as a developer, I'm used to dark mode while coding, so I'll stick with it. To get started with our system, you'll need a MicroTik router where you'll install the billing system. Make sure your MicroTik is version 6 or above. Also, I need to mention that remote linking of your router is not fully available just yet, so you must either place an order for your MicroTik router from us or call us to handle the installation for you. Now, let's configure the system to communicate with your router. To do that, we'll go to the Link Router section, enter the details for your router, and click Add Router, and then sync it to bring it online. As I mentioned earlier, there are some configurations that need to be done physically on the router, so you can't do it all remotely, since there are some files needed to be installed on your router, so that our system can communicate with your router comfortably. Feel free to reach out to us to buy your router from us or request installation services. In newer versions, we're working on a better solution, so make sure to check our website for updates. Now that we've updated the router, let's set up our packages, the ones users will subscribe to. To do that, go to the Plans and Packages section. Currently, as you can see, we have none, so let's add one by clicking the Create Package button and fill in all the required fields. After that, click Save to store the package. <laughs> 